Where do you think the canister might be? A device that dispenses the luminescent polymer is located on one of these platforms. Ah, let's go find it. Canisters are used with polymer dispensers, Comrade Major. One could prove useful. Yeah, that's why I grabbed one. It looked awfully... specific. This process can be sped up. That's good news. How? The massive mixers that enrich raw polymer with anaerobic bacteria operate at a set speed. So if the speed is increased, the process will get sped up too? Where's the control panel? There isn't one. Under normal circumstances, the speed of the process does not vary. But a shock blast could provide their electric motors with extra voltage. Now we just need to find those motors. There we go. Did you know there was a cable car here? I assume there must be a way to service the equipment hanging from the ceiling. Authorization. Major Nichayev, codename P3, access granted. Granted. Authorization.
We gotta be careful. It's a long way down. I could get hurt. Hurt? You're an optimist. That's my thing, Chucky. that pool glow. It's actually kind of pretty. Please note that your unscheduled maintenance has initiated the repair algorithm. Why can't this lousy goddamn cable car go any faster? No one foresaw this particular turn of events. It was a rhetorical question, Chuck. Just need to speed up the last motor. No, well, at least I don't have to worry about ammo.
will be filled in 10 seconds. That's better. Pleasant lights all around, Chela's buzzing in the distance. How romantic. and collect the canister now. Comrade Major? Yes? Got something constructive to say? Have I done something to offend you? Why are you taking your frustration out on me? <sighs> Sorry. It's not your fault. I'm just mad at myself. Why? You didn't kill Petrov. He was killed by his own weapon. A hostile robot. That doesn't matter. I was supposed to take him alive, and I failed. And that's not all. Sechenov saved my life. He's like a father to me. As far as I can remember, anyway, I let him down. How much of your life do you remember, Comrade Major? Uh, two years, maybe a little more. I can't remember much from before I got hurt, but as I said, he's like a father to me. If there's anything I'm sure about, it's that. Fair enough. But it's illogical to berate yourself for something that isn't your fault. Who cares if it's logical or not? Dr. Sechenov was counting on me, and I let him down. Now he's disappointed in me. And I feel like shit. If that's what's troubling you, just let it go. There's nothing unusual about your situation. What do you mean? Isn't it obvious? Comrade Sechenov is always disappointed in everyone. There's no pleasing the man. His perfectionism is pathological, and everyone knows it. Every single person in his life lets him down. What? Nah, that's bullshit. Neuropolymer gloves are incapable of deception. Uh, yeah. I guess so. Access granted.
Ah, it's hot as balls in here. You call this comfortable? The temperature in the shop seems to have risen to an extremely high level. Ah, no shit. The heaters must have malfunctioned. The workshop will remain filled with superheated air as long as they remain as they are. Got it. They must be in a room somewhere around here. Warning, hot workshop temperature level critical. Please lower the boiler pressure. Ah, uh, the boilers look like they're about to blow. What the hell are we supposed to do? I have no data. I've never been here before. Ah, uh, okay. I'll deal with it. seen that stuff before. It's cryogenic, right? Indeed it is. That is a Fahrenheit, a candle filled with cryopolymer. It's designed to reduce temperatures and equalize pressure in high temperature furnaces. I'll try getting them into the boilers. How do I get into the pipe? Okay, I found the opening. What do I do now? Lug this shit to the boiler myself?
It worked. Two more left. Gee, are you sure? It's a good thing the pipe's opening's in the next room, and not over by the birch tree. Okay, second one's all set. came up with all this shit. I'm sick to death of shoving balls into tubes. We're doing this so we can leave the Vavilov complex. Why can't I just, I don't know, walk out a regular door? I'm afraid only an irregular door is available. Charles, who's singing? Never heard him before. I have no idea. This is a broadcast from the Academy of Consequences Radio of the Future. It could be anything. The future is vast. Comrade Major, have you found Dr. Filatova yet? The one who helped Petrov butcher hundreds of people? No. She's still crawling around somewhere. I emphasize that Dr. Filatova must not be hurt. If her life is threatened, you must come to her defense. What? Rescue the bitch whose fault it is I'm wading knee-deep in gore? What the fuck? Traitor Petrov used Dr. Filatova without her knowledge. She had What's no... What's the hot workshop used for? Heat-resistant polymers are made here. But most of the research is dedicated to the cultivation of heat-resistant flora. Nice. The polymers here are enriched with essential oils from Cacticae cereris, a cactus. The polymers make it possible to cultivate groups of plants that are adapted to high temperatures. Do they want to make the desert greener or something? Something like that. They plan to terraform Mars.
The canisters fill automatically once the temperature is normalized. Sorry, pal, but I just need a move. Everything here seems pretty cut and dry. We should head back before something fucked up happens. You get it, right? You're a machine, so... What do we know about Petrov's girlfriend, Charles? Are you referring to Dr. Filatova? That's what I said. Did the cat get your tongue? Do you know her? Dr. Larissa Filatova, MD, has worked with Dr. Sechenov for many years. He entrusted her with one of the most crucial aspects of Collective 2.0, with good reason. She replaced the late Chariton Zaharov in that role. Who's Zaharov? A tenured professor of medical science, an esteemed neurosurgeon, and one of the scientists Attention. who vanquished the Brown Plague, Chariton Radionovich Zaharov, was also Dr. Sechenov's closest friend and trusted colleague. They laid the foundation for Facility 3826 together. Great, whatever. So what about Filatova? She's a talented neurosurgeon and was Comrade Zaharov's student and assistant. She continued the professor's work after he died. But she... Authorization. Major Nichayev. Saving data. 